Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man, and today I'm going to review the Televis Dat Boss Mix. This is a high gain outdoor antenna packed with features, including a unique triple boom design, built in amplifier, and LTE filter. With a smaller, more compact design compared to other large antennas out there, will this still be able to pack a punch? Stay tuned to find out. If you're seeing me for the first time, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. For those of you that don't know, Televis is a very large antenna company based out of Spain that's been around since the 1950s, just like well-respected companies like Channel Master and WineGuard. The company is vertically integrated, meaning that they handle the design, manufacturing, testing, quality control, and distribution of the antennas without having to rely on an outside source. If you decide to purchase this antenna, be sure to follow the link in the description of this video as it's not always in stock on Amazon. There are many highlights I want to bring up about the Televis That Boss Mix. It has a very good build quality specific with high grade anodized aluminum, high quality ABS plastic, proprietary injected Xamax clamps, and stainless hardware throughout. According to Televis, that mix is one of the highest gain antennas on the market for UHF frequencies for its size and provides very competitive high VHF gain for a form factor of about 45 inches in length, all in a much smaller size than other antennas with market leading build quality and a built in state of the art preamplifier that automatically adjusts the gain as needed while filtering out LTE interference. One of the features I love about the built in preamp is a powerless pass through. What this means is if you unplug the power inserter or if the preamp fails down the road, you will still have reception. Most preamps on the market do not have this feature, which means if they were to be unplugged or lose a connection or fail, you would lose all reception. Sometimes the preamp will lose power due to a bad power supply or coaxial cable. Again, normally you would lose reception in this situation. However, the Televis antennas will work in passive mode even if there isn't power going to the preamp. Despite the powerless pass-through option, the recommended mode of operation with this antenna is with the amplifier on since it has automatic gain control and there is no concern of overloading the distribution because the amp will back off its gain automatically when in the presence of very strong signals. That way, the preamp adjusts the propagation conditions at any point in time, applying more or less gain as needed, specific to changes in weather or trees blowing in the wind. For less than the price of a comparable antenna and separate amplifier, this antenna looks like a good value for what's being pitched as a high gain antenna, built in amplifier with automatic gain control, LTE filter, and output to two TV sets. While there are some promising features, what matters to me most is how the antenna performs on both the VHF and UHF band. What is VHF and UHF? VHF TV stations broadcast on channels 2 through 13 typically require a longer antenna element to be picked up, while UHF TV stations broadcast on channels 14 through 36 are better picked up with smaller antenna elements. If you look at this antenna, you'll see the long element here and large back elements conform a corner reflector antenna designed for high VHF channels 7 through 13, while the smaller elements and more narrow reflector are designed for UHF channels 14 through 36. To find out what channels your local TV stations are broadcasting on, go to antennaweb.org, type in your address, and click that little check mark that says the antenna will be installed 30 feet above ground level, even if it's not, and it will provide you a list of stations you can likely pick up at your location. Look at the RF channel on each station. That's the channel the stations are broadcasting on. So, for example, WBRE 28 actually broadcasts on VHF channel 11. You can also use the FCC DTV reception maps or rabbitears.info. I attach links to both websites in the description of this video. How well will this antenna work? I'm going to test it out in the same location I tested out various other outdoor antennas to see how well it performs. I'm also including data from the Televis H30 signal meter for those of you who are tech minded. You can find this data attached in the description of this video. Here are the results from the last two antennas I tested out on my YouTube channel. From left to right, you'll see the TV station, the call letters, RF channel the TV station broadcasts on, and the results of the previous two antennas I tested out on the YouTube channel. 
All of these TV stations are about 42 miles away with one mountain ridge between my home and the broadcast towers. You can also see the results of various other outdoor antenna models by checking out my other videos. The signal on CBS3, which broadcasts on UHF Channel 30, was higher on this antenna than the last two antennas I tested out. The signal on NBC10, which broadcasts on UHF Channel 28, was also higher on this antenna compared to the last two antennas I tested out. The consistency continues with WPHL 17, which actually broadcasts on UHF channel 17. The signal was higher on the That Boss mix than the last two antennas I tested out. The signal on Fox 29, which broadcasts on UHF channel 31, was about the same on this antenna compared to the last two antennas I tested out. The signal on WHYY, which broadcasts on VHF channel 13, was a little bit higher on this antenna compared to the last two antennas I tested out. So based on this test, the Televis That Boss mix performed very well on the UHF band while still doing a decent job for VHF. It will pack more of a punch than the average small directional antenna without being too large, thanks to the stack triple boom design. To get technical, more elements in close proximity of the antenna's dipole on the back increase the gain without contributing to the antenna length. Overall, I would recommend this antenna for anyone who lives in an area within 50 or 60 miles of the broadcast towers with most stations on the UHF band. If you live in a rural area with very weak signals, look into the larger Televis long range mix. It's one of the best antennas out there for the UHF band while still being VHF capable. Now, while this is a sponsored video, I honestly have a lot of respect for Televis. They are one of the few antenna companies out there innovating antennas and other over-the-air products. Some other companies seem to just reuse the same antenna designs over and over and over again from decades ago. While these old designs will still work for many areas, the fact remains that the UHF band has shrunk, requiring slightly larger antenna elements. Telvis has taken this into account when designing this antenna. Thanks for watching this YouTube video. A huge thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos have helped you cut the cord and you'd like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates when I post new videos, Feel free to sign up to my email list. I attach a link in the description of this video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.